now I am going to take about power and voltage. So, do you know what is power? Anyone? Anything, anything if it's wrong, no problem, you can say. Now what? Power is something by using which we can, uh, we can try to get whatever we want. It's like a uh, our position or anything other related thing by which we, we are trying to take part something by using that. So, power is the position of the authority to influence over others. That means, when you have an authority, that is, when you possess an authority, you have a power in the organization. For example, I can say that Sri Jitsa, he is the assistant professor of the department. So, he is possessing an authority, so that he can influence the students in his class. So, power is the position of the authority to influence over others. Clear? Now politics. What is politics? So hey, you might know more about politics. Politics is uh, doing something for the for public governance. When we apply power, when we apply power to get tax, yeah. Politics, uh, in what Vishal said is also right, what uh, Sunil said is also right. But I'm talking about what is in the organization's perspective. He said in the general perspective, but what Vishal said is more applicable because we are talking about the organization behavior. So, it's more about the organization. So, politics is the use of power and uh, you can note it down. Politics is the use of power and social networking. <laughs> Politics is the use of power and social networking in an organization. To bring change that can benefit the organization. So it's clear, right? It's about bringing a change that can benefit the organization. For example, I can say that, uh, okay, NAC is come. So they are using some political things that uh, that is trying to bring some changes in the university. That is uh, trying to benefit the students in the university. It's bringing a change that is benefiting the students. That is the individuals in the in this uh, in this campus. Okay, clear. So this power and politics is a. It's, uh, it's two sides of a coin. It's equally connected. And uh, it's parallel to each other. Okay? So, next is basis of power. Manager to force an employee. 
by threatening them to do a particular order. That is, the manager is forcing the employee to do a particular work by threatening them. Like maybe uh, he will threaten that you will be uh, terminated from the organization if he doesn't do. For example, I can say um, in Malala movie, there is a movie called Immanuel. I'm sorry with the outer stage students, I will explain to you what is the situation. Uh, it's a movie where the Mamuti is the star, is working in an organization, a life insurance organization, where he is threatened by the manager that if he doesn't achieve a particular uh, work, that is a particular goal, he would be terminated. So the coercive of power is more similar to that. If the manager is threatening the employee, if he doesn't do this work, he will be terminated or he will be given some punishment. Second one is legitimate power. So, legitimate power is more uh, say as same as position power. It's because of the position that a person falls in an organization that you do which. Uh, the person would derive a particular power that he, uh, he hold in an organization. <coughs> Example, I can say that uh, the president in a corporation, there is a corporation, there would be a president. He would be holding a particular power. So, he has that, it is because of the position that he is holding. Yes, sir? Next is Reward. Simple as that. Reward. What is a reward? What is a reward? Huh? Yeah, when we do something, we get something in return. It's more similar to that. The manager would be uh, the ability of the manager to give a reward for the work. For example, uh, if you are doing a particular work, you will be rewarded with something. In that sense, the reward can be classified into two, tangible and intangible. Because you know that the reward is, uh, we can see the reward and we cannot see the reward. How? Do you know how we can have a tangible and intangible reward? Any example, you know? Tangible, we can give some uh, money or like a bad mm -hmm. Intangible, we just appreciate Yeah, exactly. Exactly what we, we have not said. The tangible reward is uh, something that we can see. That is the physical thing. For example, the certificates, the trophies, the momentum. All those are tangible rewards. And intangible rewards is, as we have not said, the appreciation, the praise, the feedback. For example, if we are doing something, uh, the spirit sir would appreciate us. That is a reward. We feel it. Understand? Next is information power. Information power is a power hold by a particular person, that, that is individual, in an organization due to the information that he has. Because in an organization there may be individuals that uh, he may know some secrets or uh, some information in the organization that others don't know. So he has a particular power. For example, uh, in a company, if a particular person in the organization is having a secrecy of the company, so he has that power of information for the future of the company. Understand? Or I can say that uh, in our class itself, uh, when in the department, our class representatives, they are uh, they usually have the power of this information because they are connected with our department and they have the information regarding certain programs that is holding in our class. So they have that information power because we all are dependent on them about the information that they has. That is a unique power of information. <coughs> Now coming on to personal power. <coughs> personal power is a power that an individual has due to his personal abilities, unique abilities. In an organization there would be people with uh, different abilities. So
so the qualities and abilities of that person makes them powerful clear example i can say uh, a particular work that should be done by a particular person because he has that ability in that field so he he is he has most more privilege because he has that power in that field so he has that power of expert power why because he is expert in that field so in in every organization if you have a particular skill you have that power of expert power yeah for example i can say sri prada in this class she has an expert in she is expert in doing the computer skills in every time when rajitna ma'am comes uh, she used to call her tech savvy because uh, she is uh, she has a particular skill in this computer whenever it goes wrong she is dependent on sri prada why because she has a she is expert in that field clear <coughs> next is reference power reference power is a power that is uh, derived due to the influence of the famous personalities and other uh, famous individuals we get influenced by them we get influence from the person from the famous personalities clear for example i can say that uh, celebrities they influence us in, in a different way that uh, uh, their power is influencing us that they are referring their uh, their uh, personality and uh, their uh, fame to the individuals <coughs> Yeah. So, <coughs> so what are the basis of power? Come. What are the two types of basis of power? Position and place. Okay, under personal power, there are four categories that are personal power, estimate power, reward power, information power. And under personal power, there are two categories that are expert power and reference. Thank you. This what is power? What is power? Ah, uh, it is the ability to influence others. So, power and authority is the two interrelated goods. Power means the ability to influence others, and authority means it is a uh, right, right to influence others. So, one is ability and one is right. So, uh, as let me discuss what is basis of power. Uh, power tactics means the uh, basis of power are translated into specific actions how people use the power that is power tactics uh, there are, uh, the research says that there are many many ways that people try to influence others so one is norms of reciprocity it is it is basically based upon the theory of social exchange that means if two persons are starting a relationship there is a strong obligation to Uh, extend their social debts. 
that means uh, if you do if you do something for me i will do something for you that is theory of social exchange that is laws of reciprocity and second one is uh, bargaining in human resource management we already discussed what is bargaining there is a specific or key word is used to uh, always try to explain what is bargaining ha <laughs> ah, negotiations that means um it is the use of negotiations to exchange the benefits so the party those who have more negotiating power they have to get more benefits that means they have to get more power that is uh one is terms of reciprocity and other one is uh negotiation that means uh, they are trying to ex uh, they are trying to uh, exchange the benefits and they get more power second one is coalition coalition is if two or more individuals or uh, groups combine together and they are they are uh, combine the effort to gain the specific objective or specific goal of the organization for example uh, nowadays natives visit <coughs> visit our organization so various groups that means various departments of the our university combine the effort and activities to show to uh, to show the report that means uh, they have a specific objective what is the objective that means uh, they have a specific object objective to increase or improve the rate that is coalition coalition is two or more individuals or groups combine together and they combine the effort to get specific objective or specific goal of the organization uh, another one is cooptation cooptation means within the group some important positions are given to the members of another group so by considering them and giving a position to them uh, we have to decrease or we have to reduce the threats from another group coalition uh, coalition means sorry cooptation means giving importance to position to within the group give more importance to uh, give uh, importance position to the members of another group uh, another one is competition competition means within the organization various groups uh, compete each other to get more position and resources so those who win they got more power they have uh, they got more power to influence others by the sacrifices okay another one is assertiveness assertiveness it is a direct forceful approach uh, so while the manager made some rules and strict rules and regulations to uh, what are the uh, activities that the employees want to express and how to in, uh, improve the performance and how to achieve the function or how to specific goal of the organization that is assertiveness uh, another major important thing is uh, impression management impression uh, we already discussed in obi what is uh, social perception it is part of the social perception what is social perception we already study under this we study what is impression management what is non verbal communication and what is uh, attributions under this we study what is teller's theory of inference social perception is is a active process active process a set of process we which we tend to know and seek to know others impression management means it is a uh, it is a uh, it is a process is one uh, that uh, try to protect self image that is impression management under this self uh, one, one important one key point is self promotion that means uh, uh, one try to protect the or one ha, uh, try to highlight the best qualities uh, during the election uh, uh, election period the political leaders mostly adopt this one because they want to try to highlight the qualities and they want to uh, show that they are the best one for the at position in the society that is self promotion uh, another one is favor favor means uh, it is something that we uh, do to nice to favor to get the favor from others uh, another one is excuse excuse means explanation for the unfavorable event so these are the uh, key points that come under the self impression management um, in uh, certain selection interviews more candidates are out of this uh, impression management in higher pro proportion so there is a tendency to the interviewer that they have to reject this one because uh, if you use the higher level there is a um, they create a bad impression so if, if it is under this one 
that is threshold under this threshold level it is it cannot be noticed so we have to keep up it at balanced position that is impression management uh, and another one is pressure tactics pressure tactics means it is a uh, part of power struggle in uh, it is mostly adopted uh, acceptable by the trade unions right uh, if the if the uh, uh, if the needs and wants are not considered by the organization they have then they are trying to conduct some uh, strikes to make the uh, to make the needs and regulations that is uh, power tactics so we already discussed what is power tactics it is the use of power uh, it is a way to influence others and uh, it is the, the process of translating power bases into specific actions so under this we discuss what is coalition cooperation competition bargaining norms of reciprocity impression management assertiveness so that's all about power tactics read out okay good morning guys good morning good morning okay so my topic is politics you heard already uh, as me says what is politics anyone like is up so why they required in the organization the politics why they required in the politics in the organization anyone tell for the welfare of worker Welfare of workers, elected. Next, anyone? To bring changes. Ah, uh, changes. Yeah, elected. Next one. Benefit for the benefit for the objectives. Yeah, some point. Good point. So, what to become to advantages to impression to gain impression from the seniors or authorities in the organization. One point. I take the major points. Okay, not so many points are there, but it's all list. But I take major because we want to know why the politics require in the organization. Some people like politics. Like think, ah, uh, this is the politics. Not the police, Kerala, Karnataka. Oh, politics means like ah, uh, ah, uh, MP, MLA, like that. We think like that. I am also think like that. But when I study the uh, organization politics. that is a required some situation to get uh, move on to achieve the things in a within a time so that and to obtain advantages to obtain advantages which is the behind the control like if you have the authority you have the power you can control behind the organization so that is and getting things within the time you can use the powers If you don't have politics, then maybe you uh, neglect your uh, authority. I mean, what you say in organization, you may be higher position, na? Huh? You say you assign the work to the Nitesh, but he is neglected me. Then what happened? The work is behind it. The full of the, I mean, down down for the company. So it must be some uh, politics in organization. That is why the report politics in the organization. There are so many points are there in organization, but thing is, I take this major points. So, uh, I my topic is the power implications of the sorry, politics implication of the power. So, the wall according to Walter Note, there is some suggestion points. What they? So, the organization uh, they compose of politicians. They are protect. I mean, they are uh, compete with one another and another. For the resources, power, interests. That means uh, the group of people want to uh, most use uh, like a uh, resource, power, that. They they don't uh, they don't want like ah uh, I'm a competitor. It's not not an organization. They always be competitive. I want to go that position. I want to manage the position. I'm not okay. This position is not okay. I want to manage an external manager like that. so that is what point so uh, see the various of the coordination uh, coordination groups are huh? they are wants to they are seek for uh, protect like a, their position their interest by some influence of the environmental efforts and pressures 
like that um, in the organization there are a lot of pressures from the authorities they give assign the task to the uh, under employees but they want uh, to do works in this employee i mean in this uh, organization but they to overcome the pressures their interest that is that is also politics occur some inequality distribution unequal distribution that is also demonization effect like if i am a uh, hr manager in this one company he is a um, hr assistant so the the powers is sustaining different my powers are different but the uh, they are giving respect is not equal but i feel like uh it is not good i want to love the two i mean i i want to love the company this is not good that is also some occurs in the politics so uh the last point is like a uh, exercising power is very crucial in the company we already said like that power is a very essential to the develop of the organization within the getting the things within the time and we have to control behind the work to do in the in the behind and uh, we can get impressions and something from the seniors because we want to increase we want to improve in the organization we don't have any impression from seniors and authorities how can we increase i mean how can you improve it in the organization so you know all i am a i am already in charge internship in this one company i am trying to impress my seniors in this company i give suggestions to the uh, i mean so i start up company they giving respect to me i am not intern i am not a trainee but i am going to uh, i am giving to uh, suggestions to the company but they don't know but i mean senior i like a ceo but some people say you but they are positions with bigger than me what i have sir this is uh, my role is give the suggestion i just give the suggestion to the uh, organization they think yeah he is a good person maybe he is a crucial person maybe when i anyone uh, to be increase uh, this person will be they suggest uh, this person very good if you follow me like a promote me <laughs> so that is so what are the points they happen in the uh, uh, first like a politics in the organization like a uh, resource there is market organization uh, so many resources new resources some stock card resources when the resources came na they are quality selected yeah i want this resource a new a new quality of resources uh, quality of resources they the company wants the quality of resources when you are uh, like uh, you are using the quality maybe increase uh, they they want don't want i don't want this type of resources that is also uh, politics i mean across so decisions uh, this is the decision it's not visible to me as properly so decisions so uh, do you know of uh, ambiguous 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 yes yeah. okay uh, ambiguous decisions they like uncertain decisions uh, not planned decisions and and agreement decision that is also maybe the politics are occurs like uh, the decisions na some people take the decision of uh, uh what uh, they they don't permission from the authorities so take my example like uh, uh i'm doing the one company hr internship right? so in that uh, in my upper level like uh, some other some persons like uh, i'm a, my uh, upper like uh, hr manager there and uh, hr supervisor is there 
but i take the decision i suggest to make things because they are they are high power but they they don't know how they implementing hr um, internships how give the trainings to that persons but i suggest it uh, this is the training section you have to give the training then you got then you give the suggestions then you give presentations on the task they will improve they thinks like yeah this is a good quality of the hr internship from the company but they thinks they yeah i am doing in this organization i suggest to i am a ceo but actually i am do i just suggest i don't want to appreciation but is it is not a good i mean but it is not a uh, like improvement i just to be improve myself i just suggest it they follows my uh, my suggestions but they but they are in like a higher position better than me there are things like a, uh, like there's also political issues but they are not use the politics around me army and next is the goals goals like a, um, yeah i want this goal in long term and short term goals we already written on the uh, like assigning my the uh, like uh, goals chart so goals okay the goals are uh, the short term goals the long term goals so uh, we are yeah the goals are we are uh, the company want some goals this i want that i want within the time uh, after 6 months i want this to complete the courses like that so that time also they uh, uh, the politics are up to may like uh, uh, some other employees i mean middle level of the employees uh, sir i want this course no this is unfair thing they said uh, this is if it is good but he say no this is not fair thing if it we can do another level <laughs> because if you if it is success na maybe is promoted above this person maybe it is also politics approach uh technology technology means that is very crucial it's very in the company what uh, every company wants to internet technology technology means like a, a new a new products new equipment in the organization they are uh, in that they want also yeah i want this new technology i don't want this old technology this this is not upgraded i want this not uh, not like this so so everyone to like new new technology that is also some the higher authority want to use like a political approach lossman changes changes or like uh, when you change of plans in organization they are wants to change uh, this one uh, this goes yeah i want change this i want change this task just skip this your task like this that is also uh, implied like a uh, politics uh, i hope you understand yeah yeah any doubts okay thank you uh, thank you for uh, listening my nazmi uh, uh, rt very focused and patient thank you for that